Hang on. All right, Reef to Reef, this is Four Ford Family and Hot Rocks, and we are going to show you how to use the Hanna Copper Checker. This is exactly four mLs of copper power dumps into a quarantine tank with a baseline of 0.06 copper as tested twice in a row now. All right, go ahead, my lovely assistant. We're getting all the excess in there. We're gonna let that mix for a minute. Here's the infamous checker. All right, so the way this tester works, you guys, is you first turn it on with a single click. And I'm sorry, my basement lighting is poor. So um, once you get the press button flashing for C1, that's when you are able to fill up the cuvette with your test water. Um, and the way that the tester works is it takes, a, it actually takes two readings. So you take your empty cuvette, you fill it up, you put it into the tester, it takes a zero sample, then you add the reagent or powder, and it actually takes the reading, which takes 45 seconds to do. So um, hopefully that copper is mixed well enough now. Um, I'm gonna just go draw a 10 mil out of it with a syringe. While we do that, we'll admire the fish. Or, in, or the cuvette's like any other test cuvette, it's just got a line you fill to. So Hannah says make sure when you are doing these tests, your cuvette is number one, clean, and I do have their cleaning solution. Um, I haven't done enough tests yet that I've had to use it because mine still look crystal clear. So clean and dry, no air bubbles. It does use light to read the sample. And this is a baseline, guys. It's basically so zeroing This out. is your zero sample, so you're just going to click the button one time. Now it's Once, a C2. Yep. So now, this is the part that's a little bit difficult. It took me a few times of doing this to figure out the easy way. Their packet is actually marked to cut in an arch. That's the part that I've been talking about on the forum that is kind of a trick. So, but if you do cut it exactly as they show you. Or a little bit inside. Makes it easy to just kind of open that packet because the powder is really, really fine. Um, and just kind of make a funnel out of it. Yes, the first time I did this, I dumped it all over my hand because I was just cut the corner of the packet thinking that would work. It does not. <laughs> I can second that. Now, it, you just got to shake for at least 15 seconds until all of the powder is dissolved. By the way, it's flashing press on C2. The key is for this second part of the test is um, you want to push and hold that button. It will go ahead and test it if you click it one time but instead of it reading it for 45 seconds it just takes a split second reading and I have I've accidentally just clicked it one time like that instead of the press and hold a few times don't do that and the readings were not accurate at all. So again we're gonna make sure that this is dry. No fingerprints on the glass. No bubbles. Tap it, turn it, whatever you wanna to do to make sure that there are no bubbles. As you can see, it didn't really change the color of the solution much. We took a baseline reading before we started this. And again, it's push and hold. No. As soon as you get the timer, you're good to let off the button.
Yeah, make sure you press and hold it. If you just hit it again, and you'll have to start over. I believe on the math, that dosing that we just did should equate to close to 0.17. Um, and then if you add the baseline to that, we should be somewhere around 0.23 or so. Um, you know, and then given their plus or minus, hopefully this works out. Yes, we're going to make you watch a countdown. No! Sorry about the children. Well, look at that. Right on the nose. Wow. That's, that's why I say it works, guys. Wow. That's the first try. Well, there you go. That's how it's done.